As you all know, this is UNICEF fundraising. Other children around the world need our support. Come to the peace realm. Support people for peace. Caitlin. Did you see this in yesterday's paper? Recognizes that other countries need our help so that That's awful. Grow up with I go by this factory all the time. And now they're going to be making electrical systems for nuclear missiles. We've got to do something. What can we do? I don't know. But I'm going to do something. I really mean it. Come to the rally. People for peace. No nukes is good nukes. Perfect, don't you think? I can't believe no one thought of it before. Right, we were supposed to meet to work on the art project today, remember? I can't today, I'm really busy. Busy? Yeah, I'm volunteering down at People for Peace. Oh yeah, your new cause. Some of us happen to be concerned about nuclear destruction. Sure, like last year it was save the whales. Next year will be pigeons are people too. What I'm concerned about is who's going to do this. I've done everything so far. Okay, give me the stuff. I'm really busy, but I'll try tonight. You better do more than try. It's due next week. Relax, I'll do it, okay? What's all that about? Nothing. I know what to do about that factory. We'll get people for peace to organize a rally. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go. And for next week, I would like you to answer the review questions at the end of chapters 11, 12, and 13. Yes, Luke? Mr. Webster never gives us this much homework. Well, I do. And just think how impressed he'll be when he comes back and sees how far ahead you all are. Chips, you took my chips. Well, there's a few moments your homeroom yeah, representative is asked to say a few words. <laughs> now, this is the third day in Degrassi's units of fundraising week. The good news is, so far we've raised $143. Yeah, all right. Yeah. The bad news is, 9B has raised $220. <laughs> As you know, we challenged 9B to see who could raise the most money. The losers have to be the winner's slaves for a day. Aww. There's no way I can be anybody's slave. Me neither. So I want to see all you guys out there at the car wash. Let's show 9B we're number one. Yeah. All right. Don't forget the test tomorrow. Have a good evening, everyone. Why can we get a normal substitute? There was some kind of shortage or something. Yeah, great. So they give us the vice principal? Great. My advice is to eat the chips. Yes. Can I give you a drive home? No. I miss you. Don't you miss me? No. Look, I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. I swear. Leave me alone. I can't believe I'm a life. Did he really beat you up? Please come to the office. Don Gray to the All set to be slaves next week? No way. After our car wash, we'll be rolling in the money. You wish. You guys are going to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hats are great. Come on, we only have five minutes. we got to hurry up. Kick it. The name is Bronco, and I rap, I don't yell. The names of these sweet, I got a story to tell about UNICEF kids who don't live like we do. They're not as lucky as me and you. Hey, Are you coming to the car wash? Uh, no. Claude and I are helping out at People for Peace. Oh. Come to the rally, support People for Peace. So, People for Peace is more important than UNICEF. Well, Maya, what's the point of saving a bunch of kids if the whole world's gonna blow up, right? Oh, right. Come to the rally. Of course. 
silly me. Maya, what's with you? Why are you acting like this? Caitlin, we were supposed to go to the movies last week. You couldn't go because Claude wanted to see a foreign movie. Hmm. We were supposed to go canvassing with Melanie and them, but you couldn't because Claude wanted you to help him make the flyers. And on and on. It's just you're shoving aside your friends for the sake of your boyfriend. No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. Maya. Are you gonna help with the car wash? Yeah. I'd like to help, but I've got to stop. Come to the rally. Support people for peace. Okay, guys, let's flag some cars down. Let's right, go. Right. What's that? It's got lots of rags. It's not a rag. It's a chamois. I got it from my dad. A chamois? <laughs> sure. It's for polishing cars after they've been washed. And it provides a superior finish. <laughs> All right. What a nerd. <laughs> Why do you always call me a nerd? You can't say something like that without backing it up. Yeah, because you play everything by the rules. You never take chances. You just don't know how to have fun. What do you mean? I always have fun. And I do, too, take chances. Oh, like what? You got to flush your teeth once? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Come on, guys. All right, let's go something. Heads up. All right. All right. All right. All right. They're going to help make nuclear weapons. And People for Peace does nothing. They are doing something. Right. Sending letters? Well, someone's got to do it. And it does get the point across. But I want to do something meaningful. Look at all the great revolutionaries. They fought, and they risked their lives. They didn't stuff envelopes. I've got it. We'll paint anti-nuclear slogans on their walls. We can't. Why not? It wouldn't be nice. A nuclear missile's nice? No. It would be like vandalism. Big deal. Nuclear missiles are murder. <laughs> How much have we made? Twenty dollars. We're gonna be slaves. No way. Yeah, we have to raise some money in the past. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but how? You know, we could do what I heard they did last year. What was that? Well, they told the paper Mr. Webster's tree, but before they went, they took bets. They made over a hundred dollars. Yeah, but they got in a lot of trouble. That's because they got caught. But it wouldn't be fair to do Mr. Webster's tree. Not when he's sick. Yeah, yeah but we could do Radich's tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He deserves okay. it. All right. yeah. Who goes? I would, but I have a bad leg. See, I heard it in gym. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> it's true. Okay. It's true. Yeah, right. I'll go. All right. No. All right. I'll go. You? Sure, it was my idea, right? Well, okay. All right, Arthur. Way to go. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mrs. Ryan. Is it okay if Claude stays for dinner? Sure. It's gonna be a bit late, though. Your dad's stuck in a meeting. How are things at People for Peace? Real fun. We got to stuff envelopes. Oh, but that's all part of it. Sometimes you stuff envelopes, sometimes you demonstrate. I remember when I was your age. I used to go on all sorts of marches and demonstrations. Did I ever tell you I was once arrested for chaining myself to a fence? Yes, about a hundred times. Oh. Well, anyway, it's good to see you two doing something for what you believe in. See? Even your mom agrees. Sometimes you have to take things into your own hands. Spray painting's different. How is it different from chaining yourself to a fence? It just is. Well, I'm going to paint slogans. Tomorrow night, 
with or without your help. It's time somebody stood up for what they believe in. Arthur's gonna toilet paper radishes tree? Mm -hmm. Arthur? No way. Yeah, put some money on it. And it all goes to UNICEF. Oh, I thought they were kind of expensive. I'll pay to see radishes tree toilet paper. Oh, great. Wait a minute. How do we know if Arthur really did it? Yeah. There has to be a picture or something. All those greatest. So are we still going canvassing for UNICEF after school? Sure, but I have to go home first. So I'll come over to your house after. Okay. Uh -oh. Hi. Come on, pour it. Watch for Radich. Everybody, listen up. Look, we're getting lots of money pledged, but we can't collect it if we don't have any proof. We want pictures. I have a camera. Great, you can go with Arthur. Wait, I want Yake to come with me. Me? Sure, unless you're chicken. Ah, uh, chicken. <laughs> no, I'm not chicken. I'll go. It's Radich. Okay, books away. You can begin as soon as you get your papers. Yick's gonna take pictures. Imagine Raptors when he sees his tree toilet paper. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Have a nice nuclear free day. Are you still going to me? Factory? Yes, I am. What if you get caught? I'm not afraid. Martin Luther King didn't worry about getting caught. Or Che Guevara. Or the Chicago Seven. Who are the Chicago Seven? Well, they were seven guys from Chicago. And they did really radical things. Like what? Like. Lots of things. Come on. Somebody has to do something. And it's not vandalism. It's only a statement. We have to stand up for what we believe in. A reminder to all those who signed up for next week's... Wait, wait. Mr. Webster would like to... I'll go with you tonight. Really? We have to show people that nuclear weapons are wrong. Right. Stretch that to 5,000 by the end of the week. Keep on hustling. Kathleen, I got you a present. I said I got you a present. Let go of me. Listen, I'm getting really sick and tired of the way you're acting, OK? This is for you. I don't want anything from you. I did this for you. Let me go. Is this the thanks I get, huh? Scott, please. You're hurting me. Number again? 16. You sure? Yeah, why? We're in trouble then. Look, there's no tree. Oh, great. Well, we've got a toilet paper or something.
late. Sorry. My parents took forever to go to bed. You sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. We have to stand up for what we believe in. Watch for the park wire. Careful. Hurry up. Okay, it's finished. Take the picture, quick. Gosh, does it have to be so bright? It's a flash. It's supposed to be bright. Whoa, oh, Mark. What? All right, let's go. No, I want the bushes. Go, run! Why did you call the police? I was at the station all night. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? I'm sorry. I, I really am. Just... Please drop the charges. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't even come near me. You're not allowed to. If you do, I'll call the police and I'll have you charged again. Congratulations. <laughs> it's worth every penny. Hey, let me see that. Hey, hey, hey. I thought you guys were supposed to do the tree. There wasn't any tree. This is even better. And <laughs> we didn't even get caught. All right, excellent. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I trust you raised a lot of money for UNICEF this week. Uh, yes, sir. We beat 9B. Oh, congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, Yick, Arthur, I was wondering if the two of you wouldn't mind coming by my house after school today and helping me clean up some paper. It would be very much appreciated. Six today. Please have your classroom been ready for the Ecology Club members at that time. I went by the factory. They've cleaned off what we wrote. Oh, great. So I get a record for nothing. Record? Please charge me with trespassing. I have to go to court in two weeks. Sorry. You ran. There wasn't any point in both of us getting caught. My parents aren't cool like yours. They wouldn't have understood. You think mine liked it? Your mom got arrested once, too. Not for vandalism. I was stuck. You could have helped me. You said you weren't afraid to get caught. You won't tell anyone, will you? What, that you ran away? You won't tell anyone. <laughs> 